All right, scholars, this is level seven, phonics, reversible letters, sheet T. Please make sure you have the right page. Yours is gonna sit, have B, D, and P, and then have those letters at the bottom for you to cut out. Once you've found that correct page, make sure you write T on it, and then you can get started. The instructions say, trace the letters at the bottom of the page, then cut out the letters and glue them into the correct boxes. So you're gonna trace each letter, just like this all the way across. Then you're gonna cut them out and match them up to where they go. The reason we're doing this is because these all look very, very similar. So we wanna make sure that we understand which letter is which and what sounds they all make, right? So, cause it can get confusing if we just, cause they all look very similar. So go ahead and cut this one out. Please make sure that your trash makes it to the recycling bin and it doesn't end up on the floor or like in the bin where the markers and the scissors go. Please also, if you use the last of the glue, just throw it away. Do not put it back in the bin. That's not fun to grab out of glue and then it's just, it doesn't work. So that's kind of our community responsibility is to make sure we're cleaning up and getting rid of things that don't work. So make sure you're doing that. All right, so we got those cut out. So now we're ready to glue. So I have this first letter and it's got the line here to help me understand. So I see this line going down and then the circle goes to the right. That's a P, P, P. So let's look and see, does it match here? Nope, nope. Ooh, that looks the same. So I'm gonna glue it here. All right, so let's try the B. B for B. So the line is above the, the where you would write and then it, the circle points to the right. So B is like facing that way, just like the P, but it goes, the line goes up instead of down. So let's match. So B, oh, it looks like it matches here, but I'm just gonna double check to be sure. Uh, those don't match, they're going opposite directions. They're like facing each other. So that doesn't work. And then again, this is like the P, but it's line is going up where the P goes down. So I know it's gonna match here, B. I'm gonna put that one on the B side. All right, and then now we just need to find a D. All right, so here's our D, so let's look. Oh, again, it kind of looks like the B, but I noticed that it's facing, it's like stomach is pointing the other direction. Just like that one matches, and it kind of looks like the P, but the difference here is that line goes up and the stomach is facing the other way where the P line goes down and it's facing that way. So I know this is a D, so I'm gonna glue this in the D row. All right, go ahead and do this with the rest of them. Make sure you've traced everything. Once you finish that, you can hop to sheet U. Once you've finished all three sheets for this week, you can move into Moby Max, Lexia, or you could read your book.